Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're well. Today, as you've seen by the title, I'm going to do the unboxing of my new camera. Actually, I'm already filming with it, but I'm going to show you now uh, the unboxing and then I'm going to do it like a comparison with my old camera and this one. And I had the G7X uh, Mark II, it's a Canon as well. And this one is a D Canon M50 uh, Mark II. It costed um, around 660 francs. Uh, francs because I'm in Switzerland. I actually bought another lens for the camera because the one that comes with the camera, the kit one, it's very standard. This lens that I bought, it's really good for image stabilization and gives more a wider uh, vision. It's a uh, 11 22 millimeters lenses posted like around 350 francs. Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Been gone for a year, only go like once Life moves fast when you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me She too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she can do And I'm going to show you The difference of the G7X And this one the G7X is still a really good camera for, especially for beginners, and it's really good uh, camera for vlogging. It's compact, it's very light on the on the weight, and this one is very light as well. But I wanted a better camera with um, more pixels. I just wanted a camera that I can change the lenses. With the G7X, you can't change the lenses. But overall, it's really good camera for beginners. Uh, for someone that wants to start creating content, uh, vlogging for YouTube, etc. It's really good camera, but I just wanted to level up my camera. So right now I'm holding my G7X on my hand. The length of my hand is the same length as the, the, the M50 is. So you can see the difference of the lenses. The G7X feels like very zoom in and this one, the lenses that I bought, it's really good because it's wider as you can see the difference. And I don't know if you can tell by the colors. It's still, it's still um, a Canon. I think Canon has a very good uh, quality especially on the colors because it has very rich colors and very natural colors but as you can see the difference between the M50 and the G7X it's really different and I know I'm not in the best uh, best uh, place because I have my <laughs> my soft light right there so I'm basically backlit but you can see the difference on the G7X uh, uh, the G7X response of the backlit and the M50 backlit response which is completely different. Now I'm going to film like a really close up so you can see the difference. So basically my soft light is behind me and as, it, as you can see the difference of the cameras. Now I'm in front of the light, as you can see. This is the difference between the two. This one is the M50 and this one is the G7X. And you can see the difference on the lighting, everything, because I'm really in front of the soft light. Which one is better? Let me know on the comment section. And now I'm going to, as you can see, the stabilization of the colors and yeah, as you can see the difference of 
whilst I'm moving. Wait. You can see the difference that this one, the M50, has a better image stabilization. That's that's uh, thanks to the to the lenses. The because it has like a, an image stabilization and now as you can see I'm just like in front of the window I don't know how to explain like there's a light on top of me and as you can see the difference of the lighting and colors now I'm going to test the the speed of uh, focusing because I'm using both on auto focus so if I do this as you can see, the G7X uh, takes a little bit longer to respond. The M50 responded really well, really fast, and the G7X still didn't respond, as you can see. I'm going to experiment with a water bottle to see the focusing speed. As you can see, the G7X still didn't recognize that there's an object in front of me so it still didn't focus on it as you can see the M50 it's quite fast to focus if I put like an object in front of me and if you take it out it goes back really well the G7X still not responding I'm putting closer as 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 closer to the camera and it just responded now it takes a little bit longer to respond I'm going to try again so you can see it's responded really well now I don't know it take it takes a little bit longer sometimes to respond the autofocus I don't know why but the M50 is quite faster and you can see the difference of the colors as well I see from my point from my point of view, the G7X has a very uh, cold colors, like bluish, uh, purple, and the M50 has very warm colors. It's very saturated, not that much saturated, but it's really it gives more like a natural look because actually that's the colors that in real life the G7X has a very cold. Because you can change that as well but this is like the standard settings so you can see the difference of both cameras so yeah basically guys this is this is the video I didn't want to make a very long video I just wanted to show you out the difference between the Canon G7X Mark II and the Canon M50 Mark II if you still want to purchase the G7X I would say go for it because it's really good camera for beginners like I told you in the beginning of the video and it's really compact it's really easy to use there's a, like a screen you can flip the screen and use it like this it's easier when you're vlogging so you can see yourself and it's overall a really good camera but now I have to say a little bit like a goodbye for this one and now I'm going to use the M50 and I hope you guys love this video as much as it as I did leave a like comment on this video what you thought about these cameras the difference and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos because I'm going to make more videos in the future about YouTube growth etc so stick with me and subscribe to my channel and i see you next time